There are two types of hard drives you can get for your computers, HDD and SSD, thanks to the significant speed upgrade that is delivered over the years. SSD is now becoming the rage. It is faster, more reliable, and gets more advantages compared with an HDD. Migrate OS feature in Ether's Petition Master is a procedure of cloning the system and boot petitions from one hard drive to another on one computer. It creates an exact replica, including all the files and applications inside. When launching Ether's Petition Master, you can find the Migrate OS feature at the top bar of the program. Click on it, and our product will automatically select the source disk. All you need to do is to select the target drive in the window to continue the job. In this step, you are recommended to keep your source and target drive both MBR or GPT. When ready, click Next to get a preview window to check if the target drive is configured correctly if your two drives are not in the same size. In this page, you are also able to edit the disk layout on your target drive. You can choose to auto-fit the target drive, clone as the source, or manually edit disk layout to decide the partition size yourself. Click OK to save this operation to the pending operation list. You can double check if everything is configured correctly in our product and click Execute One Operation to initiate the process. A notification window will pop up to show you all the steps that are involved in this operation and also remind you a reboot is required to make this completed. Therefore, please do save your work before you hit Apply. Click Apply and hit Yes. Your computer will reboot one or more times depending on different situations. Please do not shut down your computer or do any other operations while the process is running. Once the product shows you the migrate is completed, please remove the source drive from your computer and connect the target drive internally. If you have any further questions related to this feature, please feel free to contact us at support at This is all for today's tutorial, and we will see you in the next video.